All right, we've come over to the table and we've got our paper all set up. I'm using Canson watercolor paper. It's cold press, 140 pound, 300 gram. Um, I had purchased a pad of the watercolor paper that was 11 inches by 15 inches and I um, just folded it and then ripped it in half. So now I have two pieces of paper to use. And then I have, so that's my paper. I'm just going to try something a little different today. So I have a number 12 paintbrush um, round and then my water it's here. And I'm going to be using today, I have a paper towel and I'm going to be using, let me grab it just so I can show you on screen, a uh, Winsor Newton um, watercolor set that I got when I was in London last year. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try something that I did um, in a class that I took with um, Danny Gregory and Omar Wynn. It was a virtual class that they did on sketchbook school. And what they did was they did watercoloring and they showed how Omar Wynn does her technique of watercoloring. So I'm gonna do something sort of similar to that for um, for the purpose of painting the recipe today. Um, I think what I'm, I'm going to do is just do some of the ingredients and um, paint how some of the ingredients might look and I'm going to do it like really loosely I'm trying to get it set up the best way here on the film really what she did was she just got her brush wet and then got some paint and um and just created these like loose shapes and then went back with either like a dip pen or even you could use a micron and um, painted, sorry, you guys can't see the paint, which isn't as much fun, um, and just painted the loose shape of the container. So I'm just trying to paint what would become later the Morton Salt uh, container, and then I'm going to go ahead and paint what will later become the baking soda, Arm & Hammer baking soda container. I just really liked that style that she did and I thought it might be a fun way to do this particular project that I'm working on here. So I'm going to go ahead and this is like a box. So I'm going to go ahead and paint kind of a square shape. I think I want it a little bit bigger. I might have to go back and change some of these things digitally if I want to add the recipe to it and I want to add um, I want to add any more um, pictures to go with it all right and that'll look much lovelier later <laughs> and then I wanted to draw the cinnamon or paint the cinnamon so let me grab a lighter brown color for that and the cinnamon is in a jar so I'm just gonna well these are not the fanciest colors ever are they look so dull right now I it'll look nicer later I promise um add a little bit I'm trying to get a little bit darker of a brown here to make this cinnamon color here we go that's a little bit better and I'll draw it so it'll look more like a jar later and I just want to put a lid so I'm going to grab I'm actually going to go ahead and use um I'll use the black Or I'll use like a dark purple, purplish gray color for the top, for the lid. There we go. Almost ends up to be like a Payne's gray at the end. After mixing a few colors. Okay. Then I was thinking I should go in and add, well, so I'll go back and I'll show you. I'll add the line work to these and they'll look like more sufficient blobs than they are now. <laughs> They're great blobs right now. Um... And then I did want to add what would appear to be the cake. So I haven't finished the cake yet. It's still in the oven. It smells amazing. But um, I wanted to, I've made this cake before. So I know, you know, I usually will cut it in like a triangle um, piece because it's a square cake. So I'm going to just, I want the star of my show on this paper to be the cake. So I'm going to give the same idea of making some blobs here. Um, kind of a lighter color 
on my palette over here. I'm kind of mixing a bunch of colors and then I'm kind of coming over here and putting them on here. I'm keeping it really loose. Here, I'll show you what my palette looks like over here. So this is the colors that I'm mixing. I literally just go over colors. It's probably not the best way to mix colors, but you do you. You do you, my friends. All right, and then I'm just going to create like a, this is going to be a very loose triangle. And I'll go back later and add it becomes a little bit it's here we go I'll go it's like a piece of cake I'll go back later and add the chocolate chips because I added chocolate chips to them so then what else could I add to my picture um it has bananas in it so why wouldn't we put like a banana right oh a nice ripe banana man I should have done this before I threw away the banana um let's see let's get some yellow here, I'll show you my palette again, and it looks like we've scooched this over enough to we need to get that back over there. So I'm going to grab, I want that like dark and light color. You can see I've labeled all of my paint by numbers, and then I had a, a page in one of my sketchbooks a while ago, and I never seem to go back to use the reference. Now, I don't want this to look different than the rest of my whole page when my whole page is kind of looking like more loose and flowing than that. So I'm going to come back and add more water to it and scooch the page around so you can see better. There we go. And then I'm going to go back with my pen and add the spots that I would need for this banana to be a little bit more ripe. So we're going to go ahead and let, wait for the paint to dry, and then we'll come back and add our pen.